Hi everyone, today I'm taking a request that I got from Yasmin and I'm going to show you how to create a call out block. First, let me explain what this is. So I have my sheet set open here. I have my base plan open with all my spaces and I have my bathroom enlargement open as well. So I'm going to draw a frame around this space and indicate that I have this in more detail on another sheet. To do that, I'll go to my drawing standards. This is where I have all my blocks and layers saved in one place. And I'll go to my title block, which I created in my title block video. And I'm going to create my block here because I'm going to always use this block on paper space rather than model space, just like we did for the view label. Also in a previous video that I'm going to reference here. So I'll start by drawing a circle and I'll split that circle in half by drawing a line across. I'll select that drawing, hit the B key then the space bar to turn it into a block. I'll call it Detail Reference. Open and Block Editor is marked and I'll click OK. Now I want to add text in both halves of the circle. So I'll add my view number in the top part of the circle and my sheet number in the bottom part. I'll go to Attribute Definition. My first tag is going to be 00. zero. Prompt is View Number. For default, I'll go to this icon to insert a field. Then in Field Category, I'll select Sheet Set. Then I'll select Sheet Set Placeholder. And here, I'll select View Number. Click OK. Justification, Middle Center. Text Height is 2. Then click OK to insert. And I'll move that to the center of the top half of the circle. I'll do the same thing again. This time my tag is 000. Prompt is sheet number. Default, I'll click this icon again. I'm still choosing sheet set placeholder, but I'll select here sheet number. Justification, middle center, textile standard, text height, I'll make it 1.5. Click OK, place and move down. Maybe I can bring this up a bit. 0.2. And before I close block editor, I'll add a base point at the center of my circle, close, save changes, and I'll go back to my title block and I should find my block right here. I'll remove it and reinsert it from the insert tab. Click OK and I'll just add its title here so I know what this is meant to be. Save. Then in Sheet Set Manager, I'll click my Sheet Set title, right click, go to Properties, and this is where I'm going to add my callout block. So I'll click this space, then click this icon, add and browse for my drawing standards file, open, choose blocks in the drawing file, I'll select Detail Reference, click OK, OK again, and close this window, so I'll click OK one more time. Now I'll open my base plan. So this is the bathroom that's enlarged. I'll go to my home tab, make sure I'm on layer zero and I'll draw a frame on the inside of that space and I'll offset that by 10, remove that frame and I want to round off the corners. So I'll hit the F key to fill it, then the space bar, then R to determine the radius and I'll fill it this by five, enter. I'll select my frame and I'll just change the line type. So I'll go to other load and I'll select this dashed line type. Click OK, OK, select my frame again and change my line type to this dashed line. And I'll draw a line that's coming out of this frame. And this is where I want to add my call out block. So I'll go back to Sheet Set Manager and go to my Sheet Views tab. And I'm going to look for the view that I'm referencing here which is bathroom plan in my bathroom enlargement sheet. Right click, place call out block, select blocks, select detail reference, click OK. So this adjusted my property so that when I right click again, place call out block, I'll find my detail reference already here. And I'll select that and add my bubble, click OK. And there we have it. I'll just move it so it's attached to my line. So what this is communicating is that there is a detail of this space in view one of sheet 101. If we go back to my sheet list, sheet 101 is bathroom enlargement and view number one is my bathroom plan. That's it. In my next video, I'm going to show you how we add call out blocks for the internal elevations. So I'm going to show you what blocks to use to reference which of these elevations is which on that plan. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful.